Is it working now? Yeah, I got one bar. Is it working? Nope, nope, it went away. How about now? No. I don't know, man. I, I don't think I can take this anymore. I already live in the basement, for Christ's sake. I can't take this anymore. The Wi-Fi is a piece of sh**. What's up guys, Austin here, and I don't know about you guys, but I had a ton of people over my house for the holidays, and I kind of just wanted to escape it all, so I headed up here to my room as usual, but I encountered the same problem that I've been running into for a long time. Crappy Wi-Fi. This room is located very far away from the router in our house, and because of that, my computer is directly in a dead zone. The Wi-Fi is super slow, and it's pretty much unusable except for basic surfing. Seriously, whenever I have to upload a video, I transfer the file to my laptop just so I can take it downstairs to where the router is so that I can upload it faster. It's really bad. But today, we're fixing that, and I'm going to show you guys how you can fix your Wi-Fi. So the folks at Luma sent over their surround Wi-Fi system. It creates a mesh network using multiple routers so that wherever you are in the house, the attic, the basement, wherever, you can still get fast Wi-Fi and eliminate dead zones with much better coverage. In the box, you get three Luma units, although you can get more or less depending on the size of your home. Then below that, you get a power adapter for each of them and a single ethernet cable that you can use to connect to your existing modem or router. The units themselves have a pretty nice design. They come in this hexagonal shape and you can get them in white, black, orange, or gray. They're pretty small. They can fit right in the palm of your hand, so they should be able to fit virtually anywhere in your home. On the back of each of them, you'll find the same thing, a USB port that you can use to charge things like your phone, two ethernet ports, both of which can actually be used as an ethernet out connection, but we'll get to that later, and a power jack. So getting this all set up is super simple. Like I said before, all you need is the modem for your existing internet connection, and that's pretty much it. You just connect the ethernet cable from the LAN port on the router to the ethernet in port on one of the Lumas. That'll be the hub. Then on all the other routers, you can use both ethernet ports as ethernet out connections. Once it's connected, you can just head over to the app to get started. The app has a really simple startup guide to get everything connected. You just choose how many Lumas you're gonna be connecting and how many floors are in your house. Then once you set up your network name and password, it'll show you the best places to put each of them throughout the house for maximum coverage. So let's go. So now that everything's set up, there are some cool features on the app that allow you to control exactly what's going on in the network. So first off, there's a picture of all the Lumas in your house and their general locations and network status. You can see that I already don't have super fast internet, so you can kind of picture why this is important to me. Uh, so these are actually the same speeds that I get if I'm standing right next to the router which I usually don't. Here we get into the real feature. So you can see that we have a list of all of the devices set up on the network. And you can actually have different settings for each of them or for different people because you can actually assign devices to their respective owners. This is especially useful if you have a family. Well, I hope you have a family. If you live with your family or have small children, this is especially useful because you can set different policies for users or devices like a content filter based on their age, a daily Wi-Fi time limit, or even a bedtime where you can automatically pause the internet for when people should be asleep. Another cool feature is actually the option to pause the internet so that if you're at dinner, you can actually talk to said family. My favorite feature, mostly because I set this up, is the option to prioritize certain devices so that you get the fast connection for the most important devices or the most important people which in this case is me so like I said before my room is a dead zone but I was actually able to set this up so that there is a router in the basement a router on the first floor right next to the modem and also a router right on my desk since it's so close to my computer I just went ahead and hooked it up to the Ethernet connection to get the fastest speeds now just so you don't think that I was exaggerating about the whole dead zone thing here are my results. No joke, these were the Wi-Fi speeds in my room, a whopping 3.2 megabits per second. Complete dead zone. Then here it is connected to the surround Wi-Fi system. Not amazing, but better. When I connected it via ethernet, it even went up to 75 megabits and even higher when I prioritized it on a pretty congested network. Now these aren't blazing speeds by any means, but it's way closer to what we're actually paying for. Dead zone gone. 
Now, the last thing that I want to touch on is security. It actually monitors the network to make sure that you're not getting attacked or visiting any malware infested websites. If something's up, it'll send you a notification so that it can take care of it. And you can also select which devices are able to connect to your network and block anything that seems suspicious. So that is the Luma surround Wi-Fi system. It's a pretty good solution if you have spotty Wi-Fi connections or if you just want more coverage in certain areas of your home. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description to where you guys can get more access to pricing and availability and also more information about it. Anyways, that's it for this video and big shout out to Luma for sponsoring this. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already to get more content like this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.